Hello friends! Today we're going to be doing something that has started to become a fall tradition in our family, and this is the canning of piccalilli. What is piccalilli, you ask? Well, allow me to tell you. Piccalilli is a delightful British relish made primarily from green tomatoes and a vast array of spices. It's a unique accoutrement that can be enjoyed on a variety of meat dishes, and to be honest, I've even enjoyed it next to eggs, but that's just me. Today we're going to be walking through the process step by step, so stick around and if you have questions, please do ask. The recipe below in the description box is somewhat similar to the recipe we used in this video, though to be honest, I've been sworn to secrecy as it relates to this particular recipe we used today. Don't worry though, it's really not that different. So in the event that you happen to be swimming with green tomatoes next fall and need something delectable to do with them, you might just find canning piccalilli to be the very thing you want to do. I might as well tell you right off the bat that this whole process takes two days, but don't let that scare you. It will be well worth the labor when you taste summer in a jar all winter long. To start off, you're going to chop up white onions, green tomatoes, green peppers, and cabbage in your food processor, or by hand. Just remember you want somewhat fine pieces of all of the vegetables, and sometimes you'll find you need more green tomatoes, which is exactly what happened to us. So back out to the garden I went to collect another large basket. It was a good thing we had so many left. There, that should do it. So now you're going to empty your chopped vegetables into a large stock pot. We made a big batch today, so we used the enamel canner to hold our vegetable mixture overnight. Which brings me to my next step. Once all the veggies are chopped up, cover with salt, and you can see the recipe below for exact measurements, and leave covered overnight in a cool, dry place. Now the next morning, you are going to strain the juices out of this mixture, which the salt has allowed to come to the forefront. You can use a cheesecloth or kitchen towel to strain out the juices over the sink and then set the dried mixture aside in a separate bowl. Now for the fun part. This is the secret sauce, for lack of a better word, that will bring all of that delicious flavor. This next step is going to show the vinegar mixture. So boil over the stove apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, and your desired spices. As you can see, we put our whole spices into cheesecloth and dangled it over into the liquid mixture as it simmered. This won't take long and trust me, at this point, your house is beginning to smell of all things good and lovely. 
At this point, you can get on boiling your lids and rings for sterilization purposes. And early in the day, we ran a sanitized cycle of our jars through the dishwasher. A note here, keep the jars in the hot dishwasher until you're ready to use them. Now we add our veggie mixture into the sweet vinegar and spice mixture and allow this to come to a boil over the stove. Get on filling your water bath canner and start heating it on the stove. Once the water in your canner is boiling, it's wise to place your jars inside for one final sterilization effort. Take them out one by one and fill with the hot relish, leaving a quarter inch of headspace. Place the lid and ring on the jar and process for 10 minutes in the boiling water. And voila, that's it. A truly delightful tradition that yields delicious results year round. Have you ever canned pickle lily? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if this is something you enjoy doing as well. And if you've never tried your hand at such things, don't worry. There's never been a better time than now.